I have found one of my trusty old Commodore 64s and uh, this one is a very nice uh, machine, uh, Commodore 64C actually. And uh, in this video I thought I'll make a game cartridge for it. And I got this uh, pole position PCB that's um, actually one from uh, PCB Way shared projects. And uh, if you want to have produced uh, PCBs like this, you should visit the PCBWay.com and check out uh, their uh, shared projects. No, this is a very simple uh, PCB. It uh, only has one EEPROM, a 74C128 or 256 or, two, or 512 and a 74LS00 uh, chip and one, one nanofarad uh, capacitor. That's all there is to it and I got everything I need here. So here I got uh, what I need. I have a 74HC00. It's a NAND gate and this is a CMOS variant. So this should uh, fit even though this is uh, marked with uh, LS. And here I got a couple of EEPROMs. Uh, this is a wind bond. And these are ST uh, UV erasable EEPROMs. And the game I'm gonna load into the EEPROM is of course uh, <laughs> The ones that branded here it's the pole position so the first thing i'll do is to program one of these uh, eproms i'll take one of these and here is my programmer it's a tl866 compatible uh, <laughs> chinese ripoff i guess <laughs> and i have a 27128 uh, eprom here that means you can store 128 kilo bits not bytes but bits so divide by eight and this can store 16 kilobytes i have already downloaded the game it's here it's a pit stop uh, crt file and as you can see it's a 16k uh, cartridge rom so that fits exactly to the eprom and here's the text file we can take a read at that yeah pit stop by apix for uh, the Commodore 64 also works with WISE so maybe we should test it uh, in WISE before we burn it just to be sure I got WISE here uh, on my computer so let's start the uh, x64sc and here we have a Commodore 64 running attach a cartridge image pit stop CRT attach all right, so it is actually running and working. We can't actually take this uh, CRT file and uh, burn it directly to the EEPROM uh, because that won't work. We need to convert it into a binary file. And uh, for that, you can actually use uh, one of the programs uh, within WISE. Uh, if you go to the bin folder for the WISE installation, you see there's a cartconv exe and that's the one we need to use to convert and uh, for that I run a command prompt and uh, yeah I already entered um, the path to the bin folder in WISE into the path environmental variable so it should be available uh, right here in uh, the command prompt so let's try and type uh, cartconv yeah and there it is and you can see all uh, the different uh, parameters so we actually need to convert pit stop and uh, we use cart conv and the input file is uh, pit stop crt and uh, yeah the output we can give it uh, whatever name but we call it pit pit stop dot bin so that was quick and uh, there we have a pit stop bin that's exactly 16k the crt file contains some additional information um, that makes it uh, usable inside the uh, wise and uh, other emulators so it's time to burn the eprom and i'm in the xg pro uh, programmer software here and i need to find the correct ic so uh, I just uh, search for um, the name here and uh, the name is uh, M27C128 and it's a DIP28 and the chip is an ST 
M27C128. So I couldn't find the exact uh, model of the ST chip. Uh, the MC27C128 for ST is not listed, but I'm trying this one, Fairchild, uh, probably almost the same. And uh, yeah, the voltage is now 13 volts, so I think this should work. So now we just need to load uh, the binary file that we um, made. Pit stop bin. Just leave uh, the default settings. And here we can see the binaries. Uh, Okay, so uh, let's try and um, uh, write this then by pressing this uh, program. Program. Programming flash. Yeah, and it uh, verified successfully. So that seems to be working. That was it. I'm gonna solder in this chip now. No, even if this is a pole position uh, PCB, you can actually uh, burn any kind of... <laughs> 16k cartridge ROM onto this if you want unless it's uh, some of those advanced ones that uh, need ad additional electronics right so now it's just a matter of placing the components and uh, soldering them in I'm not gonna bother with the sockets I don't want to waste uh, good sockets on uh, this simple thing <laughs> I can always desolder this thing if I want to and a small little filter capacitor. I don't have the exact same value, but I think this should work. Time to do the soldering. This is a very nice PCB, the contacts and the soldering works uh, just fine. Flows very nicely. Alrighty, that was easy. Soldering complete. Just a little uh, cleaning and uh, we're ready to test. All right, that's uh, one game cartridge uh, ready to be tested. And my Santa is uh, watching uh, the machine and this is a real Norwegian uh, Julenisse Santa made by my mother when she was alive. It's uh, handmade actually. Oops, sorry Santa. Let's insert uh, the cartridge. All right, Nisa, turning on. Yeah, and there it is. <laughs> so that's it. A working uh, pit stop cartridge. Let's test it a little bit. Let's take it for a spin. All right. I used to play um, Pit Stop 2 a lot back in the day, but uh, I haven't actually played uh, a lot of Pit Stop 1 actually, so yeah, <laughs> this is a little bit simpler variant. I see I have some issues with the tires, so I better go into the Pit Stop. <laughs> so how do we do this? and some gasoline. <laughs> All right, that was it for this uh, video. I hope to see you tomorrow in the next uh, Commodore Advent Calendar episode. Thanks, bye bye.